restaurant, it's gonna be fun. I'm really hungry for chicken. Stevie is a nap and numja. I'm not a nap and numja. Uh, I don't know, I'm just randomly talking really, I'm not very good at this, but I... Keep it locked. Check it out. Welcome to Game of Conversation. <laughs> we still don't know what's going on with this intro, but we're, we're, we'll. It's sticking for the moment, so. This is gonna be it. This is. We're just gonna go with it. Welcome to our first proper episode. Thank you for all the applause. But um, <laughs> this is our first proper episode. We're hoping to go on from here and then discuss more topics and awesome stuff. So how are you doing, Gabriel? Well, yeah, I'm good today. We've just been dancing, practicing a few dances that we might be doing somewhere. We had to eat at Masato, Misato, Misato, Misato. Misato. It's like the greatest restaurant, Japanese ever. restaurant ever. So budget. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so great. So cheap and so delicious, you don't understand. Like, if you have no access to here, you're missing out. Why? Like, yeah. It's oh. like, if you're on a budget and you want like a massive plate of chicken teriyaki for £4.50. Or chicken katsu curry for £6.50. That is what I get every time I go. Chicken teriyaki for me every we time. Never we never change. change. We, we never, never change. change it's we like, we're like, oh yeah, we've tried something different. We go there with other, <laughs> we go there with other people. It's like, why don't you try anything different? And we just look at them nah. like, nah. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. So. Our topic today is mass of K-pop. For basically the mass of K-pop, what, what we wanted to talk about was that recently I feel like there's been so much K-pop, like just too much K-pop. Uh, too much, I don't know. But um, uh, <laughs> so much, so much K-pop. It's been a lot. It's been Let's a just lo say that. It's been a lot of K-pop. In comparison to other years, there's been a lot in the last year and a bit. Yeah. Yeah. What would you consider a mass of K-pop? I think a mass of K-pop, actually no, we can take this in two ways actually. We can take it in terms of the fact that so many groups are being pumped out like bunny having babies and <laughs> The best analogy. It's just, it's just like flying out and just coming out everywhere and it's hard to keep up with them because there's so many. Yeah. And then like, this might be a bit controversial with me saying this, but sometimes with the groups, I really like them, but sometimes I feel like they should have been in training for a bit longer. Yes. Like, like this, it feels like some companies are trying to pump out these um, groups to without to actually get them out training as, like, them. Fast as possible. Yeah, yeah, without actually training them properly. I'm not going to name any example before I get some hate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I think that's a problem. I know because like some people are like, oh yeah, there's too many, there's not that many groups growing. But I feel like there is because like with SM Entertainment, are pro uh, like currently FX and EXO are promoting, yep. and recently they've been doing they've been doing two groups promoting at a time. Like Henry and EXO promoted, yep. and it's like they've been doing two groups promoting. Yeah. Like Wulim is promoting Tasty and Infinite. These companies are promoting so many groups, and like all these new rookie groups are. JYP's not promoting anymore, are they? JYP is not promoting. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, I don't know what they're doing to be honest. You mean 2pm or Susie are not promoting? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so true. I'm oh sorry, I'm sorry guys, but oh. you got a face back. It's, like, it's, you know, it's true, it's true. 2am did come out with a new song, it was nice, but I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember the name. But yeah, they came out with a song, it was alright, yeah. but it's like there's not really a, like, they're not really a cable group as such, so... Yeah. Yeah, well, okay, they are, before we get for that as well, but shit, shit. With, with ballad songs and ballad groups to focus solely on ballads, they're kind of a different type of idol group, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's all oh. like different ways of promoting. Yeah. yeah. If you compare it to like other years, it just seems so much different. Because if you compare it to like last year or the year before, like not that many groups were promoting. Maybe you had yeah. like three big groups promoting, Literally. and then like when it came to people winning like M Countdown, yeah. Yeah. when yeah. With pe people winning M Countdown, it was normally always the top, yeah. three top groups. Top but now groups. it's like... It's like random groups coming up and winning, and you're just like... Well, Sister's been winning a lot. Yeah, Sister's been winning. And then, like, because recently I've had, like, Beast and, like, Sister yeah, and, like, all these groups. Bad. And then, like, the, the top Infinite three the bad. top three are changing every week. And, like, because, oh like, with last year, like, Infinite with the Chaser. No, last year was it? Infinite with the Chaser? <laughs> the day won, um, like, three times. I think they got a triple crown. Yeah. But then with this time, they won, like, once. My boys. And then, like, next week, it was another big group. Next week, another good big group. It will win it for the whole well, week. I guess, arguably, that keeps a bit of variety. To, um, it does, yeah, I guess it, I guess. I guess it does change it. It's what? not like boring. Do you think it's a bad thing? Um, I think it's a bad thing in the sense that, especially with new groups, we're not given the chance to like really take them in or like yeah. really make our decisions about them. Or like another group is pumped out that we have to kind of keep up with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I guess that's the problem of just trying to keep up with everything. And that's why some people are like, oh, I only stick to my one group. I don't care about anyone else in the case. Because there's just world. too many groups. <laughs> yeah, literally. So I like to stay open though. Yeah, I like to in, try and listen to many, <laughs> many. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yeah, I try and listen to as many groups as I can, but it's yeah. just too many. And then some groups are just, 
do you think is a good thing? Sorry, I need to say that again. I said gross. <laughs> <laughs> I went gross and I just went, guys, so let's move on. Um, yeah, some, some groups, are, oh my god, I can't say groups. <laughs> yeah, some groups are just always promoting, like with Vix, they haven't stopped. Yeah. They haven't stopped promoting. I love Vix so much. I feel much. for Vix though, they must be under some so much pressure. Yeah, like, it's like BAP, BAP is yeah. the prime example. Yeah. They don't stop promoting and ever. Companies like want them to release new songs and want them to get more money. I'm a bad man. But they don't realise that the fans ex then accept that as their proper re yeah. regime. Because I know some babies or BAP fans, like yeah. after two months of them not coming back, people were like, <laughs> where, where, are two, where are they? Where are BAP? And I'm just like, nah, bro. Yeah, no, where, where are 2 p.m.? Where are 2 p.m. though? Where are they? Where are 2 p.m. Like, though? It's been like 10 years. Do you think the mass of K pop will change? No, not to be honest, because the more popular K pop gets, the more people who are going to want to be trainees who like appear. And they're going to want to be joining these entertainment agencies. And from there, more groups are going to be pumped out. So I think this is going to be, say, like a, a constant. Cycle. Yeah, it's gonna be like a cycle. I don't know. I don't know until there's too many. Yeah, until, until there's like, too many. I didn't music shows like... can't be long enough because like before, like last year, like they didn't even cut down songs that much. Yeah. Some groups like for the one example I know is like Nine Muses. Like when they were promoting like a minute. Yeah, like like Wild ended up being like a minute a long minute song. Long. And I was like, so, soon what? enough, groups are gonna be getting like 15 seconds on stage and I have to run off. Yeah. A new a new group will come ne on. Nick and Sally and in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're my destiny. destiny. Oh, wait, okay, okay, okay. Then I can't hang God, you man. Whoa, oh, 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 Literally, it'll be so short, oh, and gosh. it's just like I like the variety in groups, yeah. especially like I want, I want time to appreciate the groups yeah. on stage. Some groups are coming out and they're very different. Like yeah. uh, one example is like BTS. Like their yeah. their sound is so much different from a lot of K-pop. BTS are my boys. Bro. We are coming up. You're bulletproof. They're, they're, they're good and I really like them. Yeah. And they're so the kind of music something I really like. And I like the variety, but then sometimes it's just like same old, same old. And then like, because there's so many groups, some groups are trying harder to impress. And yeah. I like that in a way. For some groups, I do like it. Yeah, and they're trying to impress in different ways using different parts of their body. I.e. What's up? What's up? What's yeah, what's up? up? One example, yeah. <laughs> what's up? It's just... Tur 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 <laughs> it's like, what's up? Yeah, they're trying something different and props to them. To be yeah, yeah. They got so popular because of this twerking thing. Yeah. And because like people were like, this is why I escaped American pop for. You know, just like, you know, I've heard though, I've heard that they're really popular in like Korea. Well, not really popular, but they're not getting hate in Korea. But people in yeah. Korea are like, wow, this is interesting. It's just like international fans who are like, what is this? What is this ratchet? I escaped I, twerking. Yeah. It's yeah, like, it's I like, escaped twerking in American music. Get away from me. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. And I was going to say uh, a group that me and Gabriel hold very close to our hearts. Appreciate them extremely. I think he knows what I'm talking about. Bestie, right? Bestie oh just debuted. Oh and my goodness. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Bestie are great. There is the oh, I've watched everything of theirs so many times. Oh my goodness. Have you seen the diet bit? The diet? Like, yes! Oh! The shorts, friends and family and people who are watching. Hopefully not my family, but um, <laughs> all mine. <please. laughs> but wow, man, it, it's just oh. moving on. We could have a whole um, show about Bestie. <laughs> we need, we need, even to though they just female, debuted. We need to do a female girl group day, day like whole 24 hours just talking about it. A oh 24 hour live stream yeah, of girl group. Girl group. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're watching their performance, like I like this. <laughs> like groups like that, they're just trying something different and trying yeah. to be more sexy or more manly. I don't, I don't like the hate they've gotten though. Yeah. They've gotten so much hate, they're like, oh my gosh, you guys are so... If she's in their bodies to yeah. I'm like, do you, have you been like, listening to K-pop? Do you understand? Do you want, like, are you a real K-pop fan? Have you seen what's going on or it's in like, the K-pop industry? The, the worst, in my opinion, was like when people talked about what's up. Yeah. And they were like, they're shaking their bums to get popular. I'm like, what's Huda been doing wait, wait, since her? Thou should bet's Be Ambitious song. No. Be Ambitious. Literally, the lyrics oh, of the song are like, look at my legs, my legs are so pretty. <laughs> And then like they're like taking off their freaking ah uh, their skirts like, yeah like come on guys it's like there's there's I'm there's not a, complaining there's a, we're not complaining yeah. but it's like there's a certain ends of the spectrum yeah. and like some of them need to be like some sometimes you need to draw the line with mm. certain things like we want groups to be popular and obviously the companies want them to make money so yeah. they're gonna try and make them as sexy as they can but like sometimes it's just desperate and yeah. it com it comes across like with what's up it kind of did in a way just a bit but then I just a bit <laughs> just a bit but then I respect them for getting because they because it works like yeah. Any publicity is good publicity, I guess. True, it's so, true, it's true. It's quantity over quality right now, but yeah. we want it to be the other way around. Well, I want it to be the other yeah, way around. Yeah, I want it to be 
them. Yeah, yeah so we're honest. hoping that the quality can step up. Yeah. In, so, so yeah, awesome. Well, definitely. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is the yeah. K-pop conversation. We're it, <laughs> Mr. Gamushi and K-pop Steve here. We yep. didn't even introduce ourselves at yeah. the beginning. Doesn't matter. I'll are. put the names there. You know, but, uh, <laughs> you know you've been watching it. Well, yeah, episodes, even though this. this is like our first proper one. Um, <laughs> it's episode two actually. But yeah, if you like this, please put down in the comments below and tell us more topics you would like us to talk about. And tell us if you like this kind of style of video because I'm hoping with my channel to expand to more different types of videos. So if you enjoyed this, please put it down in the comments below. Yeah, we have good fun yeah. doing it and we just hope you guys... This is literally normal life for us. We do this anyway. We just, so. talk, we just, talk, we just thought we were recording yeah. to see how it goes. So. <laughs> if you want to follow us on Twitter and, or Tumblr or whatever, follow us in the description below. Yep. If you like, come and tweet me or Gabriel because we're, norm we're normally on our uh, Twitter Twitters all the time. All the time. So. <laughs> yeah, so come and tweet us in there if you, yeah. like, if you like the episode, if you enjoyed it. Please tell us if you liked it because yep. we don't know if you guys yeah. will enjoy this because we're kind of just filming our this conversation. It's kind of like so. a pilot. Yeah, we'll see how it goes yeah. and then we're going to do more podcasts yeah. and stuff. It's going to be real exciting so I hope you guys will anticipate it and yeah. enjoy it. So thanks for watching guys and this has been K-Pop Conversations. conversations. <laughs>